Welcome to the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2018 here in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Nagwa El Shinawi, who is the Under Secretary for Information for the Ministry of Communications and Information Technology for Egypt. Ms. El Shinawi, thank you very much for joining us in the studio today. Thank you for you. It's a pleasure for me. <laughs> now, I'd like to start off by talking a little bit about the fact that there's currently considerable attention being placed on harnessing the power of information and communication technologies on ICTs as an enabler for good, uh, for the development of a, for benefit of people, uh, families, communities and nations. I wanted to ask you, what is your personal perspective on this? ICT really is a key enabler and key driver for the development of any nation all over the world. And this is what already happened in our country. And this is backing really to more than 30 years when the government introduced the ICT in, uh, in, in Egypt. And uh, this is also was supported by the first uh, plan, a strategic plan for really for building the infrastructure and uh, develop the required regulation for the ICT in our country. And this is, was followed after this by another very important plan was the uh, transformation to the information society and uh, introducing the e-applications in all our life. And then uh, the third phase was uh, uh, the plan for uh, exporting Egypt ICT services. Uh, Egypt is became one of the important uh, location uh, attractive location for exporting as for being outsourcing uh, uh, country uh, among uh, the region and worldwide as well. Uh, and finally, by uh, the last transformation and the last phase uh, we already started right now, uh, which is the phase of uh, transformation the country into digital society. Uh, the information technology is really is part of our life. It is integrated in all our life, uh, whether it is professional life or whether it's personal life. WhatsApp, Facebook, Egypt is the first uh, country among the user of Facebook and Twitter and the social media uh, within the Arab regions. It's becoming really, it's very important uh, for communication, for benefiting from each other, for sharing our ideas, our, our really, uh, for taking uh, sometimes advice, for uh, communicating with our friends, for also for really um, um, executing some of our work through all of this. So it's really, it's, it affects our life positively as I see um, right now. This plenipotentiary conference is the first since the world agreed on the Sustainable Development Goals in 2015. Perhaps you could provide us with some examples of how ICTs are helping to drive sustainable development in your country. ICT is playing a great role in helping in the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goal. And this is through the Ministry of Communication Information Technology, which is already working closely uh, with the Ministry of Education, Ministry of Health, Ministry of Justice. Uh, we have a, a huge program and strategy, for example, for the education to integrate the ICT in the schools, connecting our schools with broadband. We have a pilot project now, right now, uh, which will be, uh, which is already launched and we'll see our results very soon. So we are, we believe that it will help uh, uh, to improve the education uh, process in our country. Uh, in, as well as we have another uh, also program with the Ministry of Health in order really to improve uh, the, the health care uh, provided to all the citizens in our country, to reach, to have uh, electronic health record for every citizen in our country. Right now as well, we had started a program with the Ministry of Justice in order to improve the services like, for example, uh, issuing an ID or renewing a license or driving license for the people. So all of these are right now are included. So pro uh, uh, developing the services and making these services better and better to our citizen. So really we help it in this. In addition to this, I also, uh, uh, one of the important uh, sustainable development goal is for empowering the women. ICT really empowered our women. Uh, the Ministry of Communication, Information Technology launched uh, a promising initiative for empowering women using ICT. We had a platform now. It is uh, the first in its kind among the region and among, I guess, many developing countries. We try to provide different services 
uh, to reach the woman to help her to uh, to be educated, to be trained using ICT, to start her small business, as well as to see a successful and role model of other ladies and other young uh, female who already use the ICT in order to really to uh, uh, to have a better life and to generate money for her uh, and and as well as to help her in having a better and successful career. So really, we already we have this program. We started to see the outcome of this program to our country. Uh, I guess we the ICT is helping a lot in achieving the sustainable development goal. Well, that's great news. I just also wanted to ask you about half the world's people are connected to the internet, the other half is not. What is your country doing to get everyone connected? The ministry continue in its plan to, uh, to already to uh, helping uh, our people and our citizen uh, to be connected to the ICT. Right now, based on the latest, uh, latest statistics, we have around 50% of the individual are connected to the internet. So uh, the ministry uh, continue in its plan to connecting the other people, especially the remote area. Uh, uh, and this is through uh, uh, developing the infrastructure, uh, through uh, also disseminating the fiber optics in order to have better uh, and better quality and, better, and also speed uh, internet services provided to every people. In, in addition to this, we know that some of the places maybe will will face still more uh, problems in the connection but the also the ministry try with all the stakeholders to find other solution to deploy adequate technology in order to reach people and to increase uh, the penetration in our country and the accessibility as well as the usage uh, also the program for the innovation because uh, really uh, innovation ICT is driving the innovation in our country we have our youth now benefit in the universities. We have now a clusters of innovation in the university using ICT. Uh, so uh, the ministry is continuing to develop more and more programs through its different plans and follow the implementation in order to benefit the country and to benefit every people and to connect the rest of the population in our country. Uh, finally, I'd like to offer you the opportunity to uh, pass a message on here, not just to the participants at the ITU Planet Potentiary, but also to our wider audience as well. Uh, for me, it's my first experience in the Planet Potentiary, so it was really, I found that it's a great experience for me. I participated through the Arab region and in cooperation with the other region uh, existing in the ITU, in the Planet Potentiary. I was responsible on some of the resolution. It was really, really, I found it very great experience and new experience for me. I learned a lot and I helped it to reach uh, as well as uh, uh, the benefit for my region, as well as for the benefit of the other region and the benefit of the ITU itself in our uh, future plans, strategic plans, future resolutions as well uh, to be enhanced and uh, uh, to be implemented in a way which really all of us, we are proud and we are, uh, we, we, we are happy and satisfied about it in the next coming four years. Negro El Shanawi, Under Secretary for Information for the Ministry of Communication and Information Technology, Egypt. Thank you for joining us in the studio today. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.